Ole Miss at Texas A&M. And surprisingly, we did not talk about this on the Bet U.S. College Football Show, but regardless, we're going to talk about it right now. Texas A&M is a dumpster fire. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a mess. Um, it, Texas A&M is a two-point home underdog in this spot. The total sits at 55 on this at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on the SEC Network. Uh, Ole Miss won last year 29-19. to A&M won and covered all of the three years prior to that. So uh, they did not play in 2020. And Ole Miss, of course, claimed that Texas A&M was running scared, all that kind of mess. Uh, who cares? Who cares? I, I did not think about, before we started recording, or before I started prepping for this, the DJ Durkin aspect of this. DJ Durkin, of course, was Ole Miss's defense coordinator last year. Ole Miss wanted to keep him. He instead took the A&M job, got a huge, huge raise. I mean, just massive money. And uh, and Lane Kiffin is telling everybody this week that, hey, we tried to keep him. We put in a good offer. We got outbid. He said, and that is a theme with Texas A&M. All the mess that is going on with these suspensions, with whatever's happening with this freshman class that they brought in, it is a mess, an absolute mess over there. Um, Ole Miss, one and four against the spread of their last five overall. Things have not gone great uh, since that you know awesome fast start. Five and two against the spread after a spread loss, though. They are three and seven against the spread uh, against teams with a losing home record. That would, uh, that would apply here. A&M has a losing home record. Uh, they don't play often at home, though. I, I know that. So, a little tricky. A little tricky. All right. Um, Texas A&M 4-0 against the spread at home against a winning road team. Uh, they are 8-2 against the spread after a spread loss, which they certainly had at South Carolina last week. And they are 6-2 against the spread at home in their last eight. So, let's talk about this. Looking at the numbers, A&M's offense is a joke. Now, they have played a really difficult strength of schedule. Ole Miss, not so much. Uh, they were You kind of figured out who they were against LSU last week. Even still, with as bad as the defensive numbers have been over the last five weeks for Ole Miss, their offense still looks way, way, way better. We'll start with Ole Miss on offense. Number 13 in rushing success rate. Texas A&M's defense is number 108. And I know they got some horses on that defensive line and in that front seven, but... DJ Durkin has not figured out how to get them to work yet um, at all. At number 37 in uh, rushing explosiveness is Ole Miss. Number 52 for A&M's defense. I I think Ole Miss is going to have success running the football. And I think that Lane is going to drop some crazy stuff against DJ Durkin because they know each other so well. Uh, I think Lane is going to be pissed about this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, concerned for A&M in this because they may be 3-5 and five at the end of this. You look at the defense, there's ways that A&M could maybe score uh, here, but I I mean, standard down success rate, number 89, they're constantly going to be behind the chains if they are behind the chains. Um, they're number 90 in passing down success rate. Ole Miss's defense is number 69 in that spot. There's just not a lot of ways that I would expect for a&M to be able to move the ball on this Ole Miss defense because I don't think I think A&M gets in their way more than other teams stop them just saying just throwing it out there um you look at just some of the intangibles as far as turnover margin etc it's all kind of negligible right it's uh, number 63 turnover margin for A&M number 73 for Ole Miss uh number 61 penalties per game for Ole Miss number 78 for A&M you know, you start looking at uh, points per scoring opportunity. Um, I mean, it's pretty pretty much the same. Like A and M on offense, number seventy four, and Ole Miss's defense is number one ten. So if if A and M is able to get into the uh, inside the opponent forty for a scoring opportunity, uh, yeah, they're number seventy four in that spot, three point seven nine points per trip inside the forty. Uh, Ole Miss is number one ten. They give up four point four one. That Ole Miss offense, number 42, 4.12 points per scoring opportunity. The A&M defense only gives up 3.62. I think it's going to be a tight game. This thing is under a field goal, and my number has it Ole Miss by 8.6. 
yeah, give me Ole Miss. Give me Ole Miss in this game. I um, I tend to believe that Ole Miss is going to play really fired up for this because there are still enough players on that team that remember when DJ Durkin was there and the fact that he left them to go be a part of this clown show over there. Uh, and A&M fans, don't take offense to this. What I'm saying is they think it's a clown show. Okay, we get that. Anyway, they believe that it was ridiculous that he left. They're pretty fired up about it. I think they are going to come out with all kinds of new tricks and whatnot up their sleeve, and they're going to be able to run this ball on this A&M defense. So give me Ole Miss to cover the two there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.